You know, there's really not a lot to do on the bus. You can go on your phone, can stare at the person next to you. But did you know that soon there will be poetry written by local people that you can read on your trip? People are going to be submitting poems and they're going to go up on the bus for people to read while they're riding. Oh, that's a great idea. The idea was inspired by Naomi Beth Waken, our inaugural Nanaimo's Poet Laureate. This was one that was inspired through another project called Nanaimo's Poetry Map. Naomi was inspired to say these locations can be all over and they could be about people's experience, they can be about people's journeys, um, what brought them to Nanaimo, and what a better way to share that than through a bus that intertwines all the nooks and crannies that Nanaimo has to offer. Do you have any kind of background in poetry? Not really, no. I like to listen to music, and so, you know, poetry and music sort of go together. I used to write everything, like, about my feelings or how I'm feeling, sort of like a journal, and it would just end up to be a poem. I written it when I was younger. In high school maybe, but not in university, no. We're hoping the entire community will participate by either submitting their poems for people to read or by interacting with the poems as they're enjoying their trip on the bus. Oh, that'll be nice. Yeah. Compared to seeing all the ads, yeah. Do you like poetry? No, I don't. <laughs> so it could be anyone who just feels inspired? Definitely, it could be anyone of all ages. Mm -hmm. um, we don't want to exclude any anybody. We want this to be a community initiative. Um, where people are participating and again interacting and, and getting a sense of what the ride on the bus is like. I am hoping to write a poem and submit it to Poetry in Transit. You're going to write one. I I'm doing my best, yeah. Yeah. So I'm having people help me out to write my poem because I'm not so much of a poet myself. Well, I don't know how much I could help. I'm not very good at poetry. But, you know, I, I could try. Do you have any ideas that maybe I could write about? Mm. Nothing comes to mind. Maybe about our city. People are friendly. Nanaimo is friendly. Happiness. Happiness. Happiness on the bus. I'm thinking something to do with riding the bus, with strangers, strangers oh. around us. Yeah, you meet a lot of people on the bus. The theme of this year is just riding the bus. If they can tie it into riding the bus in Nanaimo, that's even better. Eye contact, a smile. Something like that, yeah. Yeah. What about instead of saying eye contact, we say like, a subtle glance. A subtle glance, yeah. Does that sound poetic? Yes. Do you have an idea maybe for the next line? A curious smile. A subtle glance. A curious smile. And that's where I'm stuck. Any ideas? That's as far as you got. I haven't got that far yet, yeah. The curious cat? <laughs> A curious cat. But I was kind of thinking something on the bus. Picture yourself in this poem. You're riding the bus. Someone's given you a subtle glance, and maybe someone's given someone else a curious smile. What's your reaction? Yeah, I'm not too sure. I actually have to catch my bus. Anything at all? Well, usually you smile back. It's that experience of riding a bus or sharing that experience with people beside you that you may never have known or seen before. The smile is returned. That sounds good. A subtle glance, a curious smile. The smile is return. It's intended to share poetry and bring poetry to people that may not look at poetry before or look at it in that way. Where people can look out the window and actually have something now to connect or relate to it. What rhymes with smile? Um, while. While. The smile is returned and lingers. A while. 50 words or less, three to five um, lines maximum. But I can't have any more than 50 words. A subtle glance, a curious smile. The smile is returned and lingers a while. 14 words, good. Still well within my limits here. So I just need to start the next line. Do you have any ideas? You'll start to see more of this happening in smaller municipalities such as Nanaimo. Um, we like to think that we're the leader in cultural oh, vitality and with our cultural plan. So we're, we're really excited about bringing this initiative. It's a partnership with the Regional District of Nanaimo and the Vancouver Island Regional Library. Our goal is to have these poems or the project rolled out uh, by the end of February. The calm of the bus, the bumpy rideness of the bus, <laughs> the calm of the bus, the bumpy ride. And that's where I'm stuck. Any ideas? The calm of the bus, the bumpy ride. What rhymes with ride? Pride. Where are these poems going to be? 
Well, typically advertisements are set up along the roof, and our goal is, is that the poems will be spread out throughout the bus, and we're hoping to have three poems per bus on a rotating basis so that the experience is always changing. Look out the window and take it all in stride. I love it! <laughs> nice! If people would like to submit a poem, all they need to do is um, submit their poetry to callingallpoets at nanaimo.ca. So subject title, Poetry in Transit, and we're hoping to see a lot. A subtle glance, a curious smile. The smile is returned and lingers a while. The calm of the bus, the bumpy ride. Look out the window, take it all in stride. If you've got an idea for a poem, why not put it to paper? And it could end up riding the bus around Nanaimo. For Go On Shaw TV, I'm Fiona Shedden.